We have lots of resources, one of which is called Out of the Shadows, which was work that um, we developed with the policy team um, around youth of color in the system. Okay. And it's been used by the legislators and cited. Mm -hmm. So it is. It's it continues to be an impactful resource on our site for yeah. people to take a look at. It's at the, at the fe legis legislators at the at federal the, at the, and absolutely. and state levels. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, Get Real California is has kept going. Yeah. Thanks to the leadership of Joe Jacobs and Family Builders, and I've been continuing to work with them always. Yeah. Because um, that's where our work started. You know when. We developed a LGBT task force for the leadership when they first did non-discrimination policies. As we moved into Get Real, we developed an ongoing SOGI advisory committee mm -hmm. that we continue to participate in. And there's a project manager, Vita Kavar. Yes. Now, Vita reviews everything that goes out to make sure it's got everything right around SOGI and the work before yeah. it goes out to counties. Yes. She yeah. does clinical. Um, consultation around cases where they're having issues. Clinical um, consultations with? You have a young person who's in the system, trans. Right. Maybe suicidal. Right. What do we do? Right. She consults. So she can consult with the... Some ideas after she hears what they're doing, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Um, and... Um, they can be, continue to be a place for where people in California go to. And they have a website with resources and tools that Vita has developed for the child welfare folks. Okay. What's, what they've really developed, which I think is the groundbreaking one that we need to build up, mm -hmm. is called the Youth Acceptance Project. It's a clinical model to work with families yes. who are having conflicts around SOGI issues with the young people. Yes. To keep them out of the system, real. That's the work. Bill. Now they end up doing some with some cases in the system, but sure. most of the ones they've done, yeah, are with families to keep out of the system. Yeah, They're working in seven counties in California, in Cuyahoga County, Cleveland, in um, Missouri, in two nonprofit agencies. Oh wow! Still in Allegheny with a nonprofit there, not yeah. the system. And um, they're going to train the Ruth Ellis Center in Detroit to use that model. Wow. So it's, they're not getting as many referrals as they would like to get. They've just done an evaluation. We'll, we want to push that out. We'll talk about it, yeah. have them do a presentation about the outcomes. But most of the families they work with are families of color. Yeah. They have excellent outcomes. The Acceptance Project. Youth Acceptance youth, Project. Youth it's accept a clinical model that is really aligned with the family autonomy. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm work. hearing. Yeah, Because it starts with the parent or parents mm -hmm. and the young person having bi-weekly time to talk with mm -hmm. no judgment. Yes. Humility, no questioning someone's religious beliefs or anything else. It's right. to help move people beyond the fear, the anger, the grief, the inability to have communication that's not emotionally charged yeah and to move to the place where they can begin to heal yes and connect yeah and know that they don't have to give up their religious beliefs to do love right and affirm right etc cetera, etc cetera. No, right and for the young person feeling rejected they can they can begin to believe which at that point when they're angry <laughs> right they don't <laughs> <laughs> right. That they actually can yeah. get there. Yeah. So they're kind of, it's they're a really interesting model.